Another question students commonly ask is, what is the difference between pass by value and pass by reference? Pass by value and pass by reference is another concept that you need to understand when the methods pass and receive values. Here I have a very simple exams, example set up for you. I have a variable called age, the value is set to 100. I'm displaying the value of age. Then I'm passing the value of age to another method called receiver method. So line number 21, I have a variable called val of the same data type as age. So it will be receiving the value from age. Then I am displaying the value and then I'm changing the value. Once the value gets changed, the control comes back to line 14. That's where I'm displaying the age again to see if the value of age has been changed from 100 to 45. Let's run this example. As you can see in this example, that the value of age is 100. When the call was made to the receiver method, it stayed 100. When the value was changed to 45, and then I am calling line 16 and 17 after the method call, and then I display the value of age, you will notice that stays 100. The value of age does not changes just because the value val changed on line number 24. This is basically what we call pass by value. That is one parameter, which is age, will only pass its value into val, where both variables will maintain their own memory locations. Changing one memory will only change that memory and the other memory will remain unaffected. On the other hand, if you really want one to have the effect on the other, you can use in C Sharp a small keyword called ref, which will make the call a pass by reference call. But well, the syntax is not complete until and unless on the other end also you write the word ref. Now the syntax is complete. So that's a little bit different in C Sharp. In Java, we don't have pass by reference. So now when you run it, You can now see that the age has been changed to the value of 45, so before and after values are now different.